Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my uni room tour. I have literally been at uni for like a month now, but it's better late than never. But yeah, I've got a studio, so I don't share my kitchen with anyone. I do have like my own kitchen and stuff because, you know, I wasn't really on sharing because you do have to be lucky with the housemates that you get. And I wasn't trying to take that risk. I'm going to start from downstairs and work my way up because my acom, my uni acom has an upstairs and a downstairs to myself but which is something you lot maybe have not seen before but there's a first for everything but yeah um let's get to the video so this is the view when you first walk in like my front door is behind me i'll show you that when i come back the other way but yeah this is the view when you first walk in my stairs are on the right hand side of my room i know in some of the other studios on this floor the stairs are on the left but yeah so this is what you see when you first walk in um as we go through i have my clothes hanging rack um sorry about my nails i'm getting them done tomorrow but i've got my clothes hanging rack over there underneath the stairs and an ottoman the ottoman was from ebay and i think i paid like 20 pound for it or 15 pound something like that not that expensive considering um and then i've got a little bin next to it that's from b m and that was from ebay as well it's got like um four like parts to it so um you can hang like loads of clothes on it because I wanted to get like a big one because I do have a lot of clothes and I don't want to pay for drying because drying is just so expensive. But yeah, there's like four compartments, parts to that. And this is from eBay, this is from eBay and this is from B&M. So as we go through, I'm going to do the kitchen first and then I'll get to the bathroom after. As we go through, I've got a little radiator. It does get really hot in these rooms so the windows are open like 90% of the time because it's, it's just so hot for no reason. So my radiator is hardly ever on but um, yeah, like the room's just already hot so I don't really need to put the radiator on. But as we go through um i've got like my dining table and it comes with two benches if i lean down yeah um yeah so these two benches just slot under so it's just not in the way like you don't want to just bang your leg on the bench it's, i like it i like the fact that you can just put it underneath the table like and it fits but yeah this table was from i think aosum i think i'm pretty sure it's from aosum if i can find it i'll put it in the description below but yeah it's from aosum and it's really annoying that i had to get a table but um like the accommodation doesn't come with one so it's something i just had to buy but yeah it's really handy when i have like a games night or something like it fits quite a few people around it people usually bring that like more chairs because it's only got what seats for like six people with and that's a squeeze that is a squeeze this is just my uni bag um, I've got a fruit bowl with no fruit in it. <laughs> I've got a cool rack. I've got some placemats. The cool rack was from eBay. This was from like Poundland. And these were also from Poundland, I believe. Um, my bag is from River Island. And then I've just got a little plant. This is my view. This is my morning view. Like, it's, it's, isn't it just beautiful? Isn't it just beautiful? This is just what you want to wake up to in the morning. A car park. But anyways, um, one, <laughs> one way you can tell where I'm staying is the blinds because, yeah, this is just student lodge blinds. Like, you can automatically tell this is student lodge just by looking at the blinds. But anyways, I got this little plant from Poundland, I believe, and um, I got a soundbar speaker. Sorry, I feel like I'm being really shaky, but 
I got a soundbar speaker. Um, I think this was from eBay. I'm not sure how much it was, but probably wasn't that expensive. And obviously, I got some Uno cards because who doesn't love Uno? But yeah, and my windows are open because, as I said, my room is always like 100 degrees. But yeah, this is like my dining area, living space place. I don't really spend much time here, to be honest. And most of the time, like I only really come down here when I've got people around, if that makes sense. But and we're like playing games or drinking and stuff like that. But um, yeah, this is just my living space um to the right i've got my bin <laughs> i've got my bin right here it's from b m and it's one of the bins that you can like it lifts up like this like when you stand on the thing it just lifts up and i've got a broomstick behind it and a dustpan and brush i do need to get a mop next to it i've got my knife set um i think my mum got these for me and i think she said she got it from asda obviously we've got a fire blanket so i don't burn down the whole building one thing about uni guys the fire alarms go off every second i cannot lie to you i now just don't go outside because they'll be going off at three o'clock in the morning four o'clock in the morning they'll be going off four or five times a day and i'm just i can't be bothered i just can't be bothered because it's not it's not an actual fire but if i smell burning now I'll be running outside but yeah the, the fire alarms if you're coming to uni make sure you've got like something you can wear outside if you want to go out for the fire alarm because they they go off regularly but yeah my knives are from asda i think my mum got these for me so i'm not sure of the pricing but i'm 99 sure she got them from asda um next is just my stove well it's not really a stove it's like a hob it's an induction hob so i did have to get induction pans and stuff like that which is annoying to shop for well i didn't get them my mom and my auntie got them for me but it was annoying for them to shop for it because it's just like it's just an extra thing you know but yeah it's an induction hob it turns on like this and then you put it you press obviously what hob you're going to use and da, da, da. you know how to use a hob let me turn it off before yeah um i did get fairy lights it's kind of coming off the wall but you know <laughs> we're not gonna take any notice of that um these ones aren't really that sticky i wouldn't recommend you get these ones i think these ones are from ebay as well but yeah they're not really that sticky because what i don't know why it's doing that um you've got the extractor fan above it i don't really think that does much but you know you need an extractor fan for when you're kicking then um next i've got my um sugar tea and coffee um pot things uh this has sugar in it this has tea in it this has hot chocolate in it because <laughs> i don't drink coffee like i'm not really a big coffee fan um and i've got a toaster as well because when i make crumpets and pancakes and stuff i don't really eat toast because i don't want to buy the bread because i'm not going to eat a whole loaf of bread to myself and because i'm not sharing like it's not like i can one person can buy the bread and we can all share it between us so i just don't really buy bread i more or less buy just like crumpets and stuff like that to eat for breakfast and cereal but um these are from home bargains i believe the kettle is from B&M um, and the toaster is from Home Bargains. The toaster was quite expensive. It was like £17, which I thought was expensive because I went to B&M and I saw a toaster that was not £17. It was way cheaper, but I'd already got this one. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, so they're from Home Bargains. This is from Home Bargains. This is from B&M. And i would um suggest that you bring like a plug like this i think you can get them from poundland um but it's not a pound <laughs> it's from poundland but it's not a pound but i would recommend you get one of these or two of these i've got another one upstairs for the tv but um yeah get one of them because there are quite a few sockets in this place but obviously in the kitchen area you need more so i'm glad i bought that um i've got kitchen roll obviously 
Um, then I've got um, a bowl. I'm, I don't know where this is from. And I also don't know where this is from because my mum got it for me. But it's just got, you know, the brush. I think that was from eBay. But you can also get it in Poundland as I've seen them in Poundland. But um, that came with like three or four sponges. And then it's one of the ones where you just put the soap in. You just fill up the soap in the handle. And it's like really handy. It's just so much less work. I would definitely recommend you get that. Um, I've got anti-back wipes make sure you have anti-back wipes um, and then I've got like my washing cloths and stuff and then the catcher thingy that goes in the sink but I've got my bowl in there at the moment so I don't have it in um, next is just my microwave oven um, <laughs> this was interesting trying to learn how to use it if it wasn't for my neighbor thank you Denobi if you're watching this I would have had absolutely no idea how to use this but he kind of like taught me through it and I worked it out for myself in the end um, next I've got this rug on the floor just in front of like the kitchen area um, I don't know I don't know if I should have it there my mum just said to put it there it's good I think it was from B&M it was like £10 so it wasn't that much anyway next this is my fridge Fridge is looking a bit empty right now. <laughs> but yeah, this is my fridge. This is my freezer at the top. Yeah, I need to do some shopping. But yeah, this is, this is my fridge, basically. It's kind of, it's all like built in. It's all hidden. Um, next to it is this very messy cupboard with just random stuff in it. Like I've got squash in there. I've got cereal in there. I've got pans, an extra kitchen roll thingy. Um, my bowls it's just a messy cupboard like I can't be bothered to rearrange that because it's hidden anyways um, and then above here is where I keep all my seasonings and things um, and my cups and my pots and pans and just I've got containers in the back but as you can see I've got a lot of seasonings a lot of sauce I've got some rice there some garlic puree thingy some stock cubes and pepper and Nutella, B Tech Nutella. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, but yeah, this is just my glasses, cupboard, plates, you know. Um, and yeah, that is basically it for the kitchen. turn from the kitchen and walk down this little corridor thing we have my bathroom next um on the door i did buy these hooks from i think they're from b&m they're really sturdy they're really good ones because i was going to get some primark ones but i don't think they had i think they only had like three hooks and i wanted four um and the primark ones weren't as sturdy whereas these are like really really sturdy are really sturdy and yeah they're just good for hanging towels and stuff like it's quite self-explanatory to be honest next we've got my bathroom i've got my full washing basket there no one look at that um and then i've got my towel and my hand towel and then i've got my shower i absolutely love this shower the water pressure is amazing the water is hot like it's just perfect i've got this little bath mat thingy i've got two bath mats the other one's just in the cupboard because obviously you don't need two at a time then i've got my toilet um the toilet brush came with the room and so did the toilet roll holder as well um and then i've got <laughs> my toothbrush and toothpaste and my soap um i didn't want to get like a soap dispenser thing but this came with the room like this glass that goes 
that the toothbrushes are in came with the room and so did this little tray this came in the room as well um next in here i've just got extra towels and spray um cotton buds extra toilet rolls spray cup remover cleanser you know just bathroom stuff <laughs> yeah um but yeah that's just what's in there hi guys <laughs> um and then i did actually buy one of these things like you can like hook on the shower to put because i didn't want to put everything on the floor because i didn't know it was going to have one of these um one of these things where you can put like all your shower stuff on but it already came with the room but i'd already bought one so i just put the one that i bought like in the corner and that's just got like extra sponges extra toothbrushes just extra stuff in case someone stays with me basically but yeah that's like a it's a really good place to put it it's just out the way um next i've got my bathroom bin it's just got like soap finished soap in it um next i've got um <laughs> the bathroom sink underneath the bathroom sink i've got some bleach some extra toilet rolls some toilet bleach some sink cleaner and my extra bath mat um and yeah that is basically the bathroom but yeah i love this bathroom I absolutely love this bathroom it's just it's just amazing literally perfect couldn't have asked for a better bathroom and it's quite big as well like the shower's not tiny like i just love the bathroom So if we make our way up the stairs, on my left I have got my wardrobe. It is an open wardrobe, so I decided to get these boxes because I just didn't want my clothes just out. Like I feel like it would just look so messy because, yeah, it would just look so messy. So I got these wardrobes. I'm pretty sure they're from Amazon. I'm not sure the dimensions. I just got the biggest ones possible and they seem to fit. <laughs> these other ones um these little silver ones are from b&m it was like two for 14 pound or something like that um and the only things i really have out i've got my ring light there yeah just needed a place to put my ring light and um, the only things i really have out is my jackets because you need easy access to your jackets like i don't want to be rummaging through these to find my jacket so and my dressing gowns like they're the only things i really have out um then i've got my shoes like all these shoe boxes i bought quite a few shoes probably shouldn't have bought this much considering i'm gonna keep buying shoes but yeah I li these ones literally came today but um yeah they're my shoes these are just my socks my pants and bras um there is still space at the back so if i do get more clothes and i have nowhere to put them i'll literally just put it behind in this box it's just spare bedding um i got this little plant from primark and then in the box behind it um i think it's like just eyelashes and just it's just a random box filled with random stuff but yeah it's just like eyelashes um like anti-crease things that you put in your shoes stuff like that but yeah that is my wardrobe um if you are going to stay in a student lodge just be mindful that literally all the wardrobes are like this like all the wardrobes are open they don't have no doors on them so it's probably wiser you get boxes if you don't want it to look messy but um moving on is my desk <laughs> hi guys um <laughs> but um yeah so my desk i've just got my creams and stuff my perfumes like this is like my everyday perfumes this is what i smell like most of the time just got some spray this box this it's like a this is a pandora bag actually it's just got some um charges and pens and random stuff in there i've got some sunglasses in the back <laughs> in that little box underneath the sunglasses i've got like hair bands and um um like my lanyard and stuff like that but most of my hair stuff saying that is in this box here because i do do hair in uni and then this is like going out stuff this is um 
just like uni stuff like smart stuff and then this is just like casual stuff but yeah anyways <laughs> we're on my desk um this is my pencil case i just got loads of pens in there my notepads i don't really take that many notes to be honest because most of the stuff is done on my laptop i've got a macbook um yeah most of the stuff is just done on my laptop so i just take my notes on word um i've got gin and sellotape there just this is the most random combination of things ever but oh well um this mirror i got from ebay and i think it it was like 30 or 40 pounds yeah but it's a light up mirror it's really big and i absolutely love it because when i'm doing my makeup it's just it's just beautiful and when i turn the main lights off i know i do have like a bed light but that's not always bright enough when i turn the main lights off i do like i'll i'll show you guys at the end but this is like a really good way to light up like the room without having the main light on and that light also like it does light up the room but it doesn't light it up enough it only lights up my bed area but yeah um i've got my bin i've got a chair i got really lucky i have like a cute chair because some of the chairs i've seen are really ugly um <laughs> i put a hot drink there i'm sorry um i think mean, yeah there is quite a few um plugs um plug sockets underneath the chair i'm trying to just show you guys but yeah there's loads of like plugs and space and there's the usb ones which is amazing there's one right next to my bed as well um that's my bin <laughs> you need a bin in your room um then that's just my makeup bag and just like hand creams and stuff like that and obviously my led light control thing i literally haven't changed it from this color since i put it up um then obviously you've got my bedside light um uh, it's just like a twist one like you just twist it to put it on it's quite annoying but yeah it's quite bright but it's not bright enough sometimes and then obviously you've got my bed this bedding is from primark i believe um and i've got a little rug on the floor as well this is from b and i think it was like 10 pounds uh yeah so you just got my bed here the cushions are from primark this is from ebay i think and then the pillows like the pillowcases in the back i think though what those ones are from wilco but the pillows themselves are from b and if that makes sense so the cushions are from primark the pillows are from b and m the bedding is from primark that is from ebay um that is just my view again we love to see a car park amazingly this room comes with a tv <laughs> so i did bring my amazon fire stick um and it's just this is literally i recommend you get this um i bought one of them pluggy things from downstairs so i can like plug in my fire stick it's got like a usb port as well but i got two of them one for downstairs one for upstairs and the tv is on a bracket so you can move it around when i'm doing hair sometimes i just like move the tv around because the people usually sit like over here so i'll just like <laughs> move the tv around so you can both see the tv um but yeah that's my bed that's like my favorite part <laughs> of the room absolutely love my bed and then i got a full length mirror when i got here i got it from being a no i lied i got it from wilco yeah i got it from wilco but there is literally the exact same one in bnm if you want it and it was literally 10 pounds i had to get command ships though um i'm a bit worried about when i had to take these off the wall because i don't want to like rip the wall because that 250 deposit is going to be gone but yeah it's key it's key i just needed a full length mirror because my other mirror is not full length and i just need to see my outfit but yeah this was 10 pound from wilco um and yeah that is basically my whole room so my fit for today is this plt <laughs> is this plt tracksuit with some yeezy slides i've got socks on because i'm kind of cold but i don't know why i'm cold because it's really hot in this room maybe i'm ill but yeah but yeah this is basically my room
guys so much for watching this video there will be more videos there'll be more hauls coming out whilst i'm in uni um i wish i vlogged my uni moving vlog but i feel like everything was just it was just such a stressful day i didn't get any footage but i will be doing more videos more vlogs i will be more active on the channel i always say this but i actually will this time because i have the time to do it now so yeah Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.